Hello and welcome to another video review. My name is Mertz and today I will be reviewing the Alpenfan Matterhorn CPU Cooler. The Alpenfan comes in at around 50 euros, making it a mid to high end CPU cooler. It is competing also with the Sigmatec iGear which we reviewed last week. The cooler consists of a heatsink and a separate fan. With the four included fan brackets you can install up to two fans in a push-pull configuration. The Matterhorn has six 6mm heat pipes, but none of them are in direct touch with the cooling area. On top of the copper base there is a small heatsink. The aluminium fans are nickel plated and have a black finish. On top there is a polished aluminium plate to cover all the heat pipes. The heatsink is massive, weighing not less than almost 1.1 kg with the fan included. The sides of the heatsink are closed, which helps to guide the air through the heatsink. The fins are narrower in the middle and wider at the inlets to enlarge the thermal surface and decrease the resistance. This results in lower fan speed and increased stability. The fan that is included is a Fern 120. Moving 108 cubic meters of air per hour, it produces around 25 decibels of noise. The maximum RPM is 1500. Alpenfern includes two voltage adapters to make your fan quieter. They include a 12 to 7 volt and a 12 to 5 volt Molex adapter. The fan body is rubber coated and the cable sleeving is perfect as you can't see any cables through it. Alpenfern has injected rubber grommets into the screw holes to eliminate vibrations. The 4 pin connector lets your motherboard determine the speed of the fan depending on the CPU usage, leading to more efficient and quieter fan use. You can install this heatsink on all recent AMD and Intel sockets. I will be installing it on an Intel 775 socket. The included installation guide is very clear and has colored pictures and instructions for all mountable sockets. Normally AMD users have a bit of a disadvantage because they can only use the cooler in one possible alignment. But with this kind of installation method you can also use a variable alignments that Intel users can use. The installation of the heatsink is quite easy and you don't have to worry that the heavy weight of it will break your motherboard apart. The cooler is secured into place with brackets and a plastic plate on the back of your motherboard. Installing the fans after the heatsink is heavily recommended as you can't fasten the spring loaded screws otherwise. The spring loaded screws make sure that there is enough pressure on the heatsink so that there is a lot of contact with the CPU area. People with large heatsinks on their RAM shouldn't have too much trouble with the heatsink as the fan doesn't come above the RAM and leaves enough room for pretty large heatsinks. The push-pull and single fan results show no real difference in temperatures. On heavily overclocked i7 systems though, the second fan will certainly show off some difference in temperature. The idle temperature was 37 degrees and the low temperature we measured was 57 degrees at an ambient temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius. The stock cooler had a low temperature of 84 degrees making the Matterhorn a stunning 27 degrees cooler. The fan is audible on full load but most of the time it is really quiet since the heatsink spreads the heat very quickly. This Alpenfan Matterhorn features a stylish and elegant design with its black and polished finish. The top plate is very sensitive to fingerprints though so you just might be a little careful when installing this cooler ensuring that you don't make almost irremovable fingerprints. The installation is not hard at all and the fact that you can install another fan with the included two extra brackets is great. The cooling performance is excellent and it comes at an affordable price. Of course I would not recommend you to take this pretty large heatsink to a LAN party every day but it feels very solid when it's installed in your computer. Apart from all this, it is also installable on almost any socket and it comes with a 3 year warranty. Dare to say that this cooler really deserves the brilliant award. I want to thank Alpenfan for making this review possible and hope we can work together in the future. If you have any further remarks or questions about this review, please contact me by email or leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and thumb up. Have a good day and see you next time.